Chase Thunder here. I wanted to share with you one of my metaphysical experiences I had and a class that's coming up this last Sunday of the month. So this, this last Sunday, we're going to do evolved middle pillar ritual. And what we're doing is we're aligning you with, think of it as the universe's chakras, the universe's energy centers. We're implanting them and imbuing them deep into your aura, deep into your psyche to awaken this unity between heaven and earth, between your ego, your conscious self, and your super conscious self, your higher self, your Agawaitis, that holy guardian angel. So we're going to be uniting you with a higher self through these rituals. Now, I did want to share with you one of my experiences I had that was very powerful. I was doing this ritual and I was chanting one of the divine names in my heart, seeing the, sim the sacred symbols glowing and, and lighting up. And as I started chanting this divine name over and over again, Elohim, Elohim, Elohim. I kept chanting and chanting and chanting Elohim, Elohim, Elohim. It means Lord, it means God. I kept chanting this over and over and over again. I started to feel like I was being pulled up. You, you know, like the uh, traditional Christian rapture where people just get yoinked up to heaven. It felt a little bit like that. I felt myself physically being lifted up and spiritually being elevated. I was in like this, this like tube connecting me to creator and this divine connection was growing and I could feel all this light around me. And I just kept chanting and chanting and chanting this name. Um, it was quite a powerful experience. So I'm going to give you all a snippet of the ritual that we'll be doing on Sunday together. And again, this ritual is used for self-evolution, ascension, awakening. It can also be used for others for remote healing. It has many applications. It can be used to charge special crystals, talismans, necklaces. Um, its uses are vast. So I did want to share with you a snippet. Here's how it goes. So first, you're going to chant the divine name of God above the head. You're going to grow a brilliant sphere of light. I'll do it briefly, but typically you do this for at least five to ten minutes. So it's e he he I am that I am e he he Agela Agela And now I'm going to do an invocation of Great Spirit of Creator, and as I'm chanting this and really getting into the energetics, I'm going to be building up and increasing this light above my head. All right, ready? I am the purified. I have passed through the gates of darkness unto light. I have fought upon the earth for good. I have finished my work. I have entered into the invisible. I am the sun in his rising. I have passed through the hour of the cloud of the night. I am Osiris. I am Omophiris, the justified one. I am Amon, the concealed one and the opener of the day. I am Lord of life, triumphant over death. All parts of me are of the gods. I am the repairer of the pathway, the rescuer unto the light. Out of darkness let the light arise. I am the reconciler with the ineffable. I am the dweller of the invisible. Let the white brilliance of great spirit creator descend. And now, if you further this ritual, you do different prayers for all of the elements going down the universal chakra system. So it's incredibly enlightening and awakening ritual. Those last four names I mentioned, Exarpe, Bitome, Nanananta, Hekoma, they're actually in an angelic language. And those four names are, think of them as the angels that bring absolute harmony and balance. So again, we're combining some Egyptian magic with Hebrew Christian influences, and then we're bringing in this angelic tongue, this angelic language known as Enochian. 
So a very powerful system of magic all packed into one ritual. If you'd like to learn more, join me and the initiates in the class. It's going to be this last Sunday of the month, the 28th, at Blossoming Path. It's 5 to 7 p.m. and the exchange is 22. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please let me know if you have any questions. And may you walk in your light.